You know the vibes. PVO, positive vibes only. FOE, family over everything. High vibrations. Hope everybody staying focused, staying healthy, protecting your energy, focusing on yourself, mastering self, being a mastermind, trying to ascend, evolve, trying to grow. This so-called new year, it's about growth. It's about creativity. It's about being dynamic. Today I wanna to talk to y'all about Moon and Virgo. Moon and Virgo, your feeling of safety is now related to order and clarity, even in emotions. You may have the need to organize everything chaotic and disorganized. Try to be more tolerant and accept imperfections of life. It is better to trust life and let it run its own way. Not, not, not everything must be according to our expectations. A moon in Virgo modifies your sun in this way. The, the bright side of the Virgo moon you are more intellectual, meticulous, industrious, steadfast, responsible. The dark side of Virgo moon, you are more critical, high strung, standoffish, argumentative, and hypochronic drill. Hyp hypochondriac, hypochondriac. I might have messed that up. Sorry about that, family. <laughs> the sign of Virgo symbolizes the shifting effect of the moon. Virgo is the sun. Virgo is the, I'm sorry. Virgo is the sign of in intelligence and pr practicality, which gives a sharp analytical bent to the moon's influence. If you have the moon in Virgo, you have a fine discriminate in mind. You do not pursue knowledge merely for the sake of learning. You figure out how to use what you learn. So you don't just try to figure out or or pursue um pursue knowledge just for um just for the sake of learning. You you wanna whatever whatever you when you were mooning um Virgo Whatever you, whatever knowledge that you come across and that you and that you learn, it's for the um, it's for you all are figuring out how to use it to your um to your advantage. Your immediate reaction to the sense impressions you receive from the world around you is to analyze what you have just seen or heard. You are meticulous and sifting through information and you tend to question everything that is told to you. So when you're a moon in Virgo, you all t um, tend to analyze everything that's around you, everything that you've seen, everything that you heard. And when it comes to information that you're receiving or that you come across, you all seem to sift through it real, um, real smooth and real, real fast, real effortless, real, real easy. Moon Virgos are sometimes so skeptical they don't even believe in what they see with their own eyes. So when you're a moon in Virgo, they you you can be so skeptical that you might not even believe what you see with your own eyes. You love to discuss ideas and probe into opinions held by others. Though you yourself hold fast to preconceived notions, you are not so stubborn, though that you will hold on to a theory once the facts prove you wrong. 
So you aren't stubborn, but you will hold on to a theory if you're a moon in Virgo or ideology and to just simply the facts prove it other words. You are a seeker of truth. When you're a moon in Virgo, you are a truth seeker. The energy that, um, that comes off the moon during this time, um, you are a truth seeker. And you believe in truth. And you believe truth is what is left after falsehoods have been exposed. No one will call you a Pollyanna or the kind or the kind who looks at the world through rose colored glasses. It's not that you are Dior or promiscuous. It's just that you deal with life as it is. This practical realism makes you good at business and at handling money. So when you're a moon in Virgo, you have a uh, practical realism type of mindset. And with that, you are good in any type of business field, anything that involves um, handling money, things of that nature. Your eye is on long term profit rather than immediate gain. And you are concerned with security and providing for old age. So instead of the immediate gain, you all um, plan for the future because you see the long time profit or you see the long time, um, long uh, term um, growth in the process opposed to like the right now. As a moon in Virgo person, you bring an extra touch for perfection in it, perfectionism and professionalism to everything you do methodical in your approach to problems you figure out exactly what needs to be done and then you tackle the issue step by step so when you're a moon in virgo you have a, a methodical approach to um, a lot of your problems you know you like to get all the details and figure everything out and then do it in some type of order like step by step but you have a tendency to worry to fret over things that might go wrong and try to cover all constituencies. And um, with with me being a Virgo son myself, I still feel a lot of this this energy when the moon is in Virgo. Um, I'm very um, methodical in my, in my approach to problems. Um, just like I um, just like I read as far as just um, trying to figure out every little detail and just do it step by step. And um, I can have a tendency to worry about about things um, from time to time, which isn't good. You think that too much good work is ruined by the lack of just a little more effort. So you don't spare yourself or and you don't spare yourself and are often fussy and critical with others. Logic is the discipline you live by. So with a moon in Virgo, you're very logical. Like you think before you speak. Um, things have to make sense. You don't just 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 do something without putting any type of thought in it. You you and as a matter of fact, you there's a lot of thought that goes into it. Sometimes too much thought that goes into it. But like I said, with me being a Virgo and my um my son my son being a Virgo, like 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 my, 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 my son's son is a Virgo. That's what I mean, not like my actual son, but I can I can relate to this heavily because just with um you know just being real logical about things um you know that de definitely disciplined in a lot of areas and um you can, I can, um I've been told I could be a little fussy and um you know critical of of others maybe um you know, just critiquing things that um, that are around me that others might do. So when you're moon in Virgo, uh, this type of um, energy 
heavily plays on you. You think such people, I'm sorry, I'm going to take it back a little bit, family. Um, logic is the discipline you live by and you find it frustrating to deal with minds that are illogical or scattered brained. You think such people belong in Disneyland, not in the real world. Discriminating in the people you choose for friends, you are also selective about the cultural activities you take part in. So not only are you selected about the friends that you choose, um, you're also selective with the um, different type of cultural activities that you um, um, tend to get involved in. There is a certain judgmental quality that, that you bring to almost any situation. So when it, it doesn't matter what the situation or circumstance is when you're a moon in Pisces, you have a real um, judgmental quality that you bring in the situation or in the circumstance. No experience washes over you aimlessly. You always learn a lesson from it. So it don't matter what the situation circumstance may be, whether it's positive, negative, good or bad, you always learn from it. You feel like there's always a lesson in it when you're a moon in Virgo. Moon and Virgo women are sometimes thought of as unfeminine because they are usually so efficient, thorough, and well-organized. Qualities that most people don't associate the word feminine. I'm sorry, qualities that most people don't associate with the word feminine. Both male and female of this moon sign are reserved and shrink from sentimentality and gushiness and there and therefore are often perceived as cold in truth the less developed types who pick others who who pick the in truth the less developed types who pick other people apart and exhibit a stingy pettiness are cold generally however virgo moon people are caring and in given and practical ways, one can count on them. So like I said, um, with me being uh, um, a Virgo, Virgo um, sun sign, I still feel the moon in Virgo heavily. And I can attest to this myself because I've been told I could be, I could come off a little cold and a little dry, but I definitely um, have been told I've, I'm, I'm very caring. And also, when you're a moon in Virgo, um, you can you can you can count on them. Like like our word is bond. If we say if we say we're going to do something, then that's what we mean. Virgo is the sign of service, and lunar Virgos want to be useful to others. So, um, me personally, I seem to get satisfaction out of helping others. I really like to help others out. Uh, I put myself last and um, I think about everybody else, whether it's family, whether it's friends. Um, you know, when people are down, I try to boost them up, try to give them words of encouragement. Um, even outside of the YouTube videos, and you know, it's a lot of friends and family that come to me for advice. Um, and, um, you know, Virgos are very caring and um, we like to serve others, you know, the sign of service. In matters of love, Virgo moon people don't have a lot of self-confidence. One might think that the ideal mate for you would be someone intelligent, logical, nice looking and neat. But how many can marry a clone? So in my personal experience, um, I can relate to this because... A lot of the, at different points in my life, I've noticed that the women I've met have actually been opposite of me. Actually, you are attracted to people who are unquite like you. Like I just said, more emotional and effusive, less calculating, more readily able to express their feelings. In love relationships, Virgo moon people take on the role of a critical but caring parent. Unconsciously, lunar 
Virgos are afraid of anger and feeling vulnerable and tend to live in the illusion that their love life lives are calm, stable, I'm sorry, and under control. No matter what your sun sign may be, the Virgo moon qualities of caution and seriousness show up in your personality. So no matter what your sun sign may be, when the moon is in Virgo, the qualities of um, cautiousness and um, seriousness shows up in your personality. So we all affected from this energy in, 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 in some way, shape, or form. If your sun is in an earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn, practicality and industriousness are even more pr pronounced. You are also very money cautious, conscious. If your sun is in a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo moon brings strength and endurance to support your expansive creativity. This is an, an excellent combination for politicians and people in the theater. If your sun is in an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Virgo moon contributes an even sharper intelligence in a flair for original work. If your sun is in a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Virgo moon lends greater dimension to your emotional nature. For you are blessed with a rare combination of psychic truth and, and hard-headed realism. Whatever your sun sign, a moon in Virgo gives you a keen, gives you keen mental powers, a strong vein of common sense, and, 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 and an intelligent, thoughtful approach to life.